Nicolina's hands, wrinkled, veined, and jeweled, flew over the computer keyboard, racing to keep up with her mind as she spun her tale of passion and intrigue. She had a deadline. After she typed the end on this narrative, she would work on her publicity photo in Adobe. No point in advertising to the reading public the fact that she was an octogenarian. In the corner of her south window, overlooking the maples that were turning orange early for the season, a butterfly moved its patterned wings. The creature appeared to be injured, although no wound was visible. Perhaps it was merely coming to the end of its life cycle. Nicolina knew nothing about butterflies. The phone rang. Would you like to go visit Mabel at the nursing home? asked Nicolina's friend Dorothy. I can come by and pick you up. I hope to never set foot in that place, replied Nicolina, but thank you for the offer. She knew tongues would wag, and maybe her friend's feelings would be hurt, but it couldn't be helped. She had a deadline, and she was running behind. At age 55, and with help from a fertility clinic and a donated egg, Nicolina had gotten pregnant. Her partner was 45. She had a miscarriage, the relationship faltered, and she moved on to the next phase of her agenda, which was building a log cabin without much help. By the time she had a housewarming, she was 60 years old. Then she decided to try writing romances. Nicolina knew next to nothing about romance. She did some hands-on research, and then she wrote her first novel. It was a flop, so she tried another and another. Now, finally, she had an official deadline to meet. The warm sun was making her sleepy. The pace of her typing dropped to a mere 30 words per minute. The butterfly's wings were slowing, too. It would have felt good to stop for a nap, but there was no time. Nicolina had been a student of human nature, including her own, from a young age. She recalled the sociologist who told her that in any given society, 90% of the people will conform to the roles that are expected of them, and 10% will rebel. I'm a rebel, she admitted. She also remembered with a pang the words she had spoken to one of her doddering, reminiscing peers. I had better live to be a hundred, she said. For everything I hope to accomplish in this life, I have yet to do. The sun slanted into Nicolina's eyes, blinding her for a second. She gave in to the impulse, and her lids fell shut. Her head dropped forward. The butterfly's wings pulsed one last time, and it dropped to the ground.